in the heart of a dense forest stood a house, abandoned and shrouded in mystery. Legends whispered of the horrors that lurked within its walls, tales of a family that vanished without a trace on a stormy night decades ago. Curiosity peaked. Four friends, Alex, Sarah, Mark, and Emily, decided to spend a night in the infamous house, seeking adventure and thrill. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting eerie shadows upon the forest, the friends gathered outside the dilapidated structure. Alex, the daredevil of the group, led the way, his flashlight cutting through the darkness like a beacon of recklessness. Sarah clutched her camera tightly, eager to capture any paranormal activity that might unfold. The door creaked open with a deafening groan, welcoming the intruders into its depths. The air inside was thick with dust and decay, sending shivers down their spines. Ignoring the ominous atmosphere, they ventured further into the house, each step echoing through the empty halls like a drumbeat of impending doom. Suddenly, a cold gust of wind swept through the corridor, blowing out their flashlights and plunging them into darkness. Panic gripped their hearts as they fumbled for their phones, the feeble glow offering little solace in the suffocating blackness. With trembling hands, they navigated through the labyrinthine rooms, their senses heightened by fear. Strange whispers echoed in the air, indiscernible voices that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. Emily clung to Mark, her breath hitching with every eerie sound that echoed in the desolate halls. As they reached the heart of the house, they stumbled upon a room shrouded in darkness. Against their better judgment, they ventured inside, their hearts pounding with anticipation. To their horror, they discovered a decaying portrait hanging on the wall. A family frozen in time, their eyes hollow and devoid of life. A sense of foreboding washed over them as they realized the grim fate that befell the family who once called this house their home. Desperate to escape the suffocating atmosphere, they turned to leave, only to find the door sealed shut, trapping them inside like rats in a maze. Panic turned to hysteria as they searched frantically for an exit, their screams echoing through the empty halls in vain. But the house seemed to have a will of its own, twisting and shifting like a living, breathing entity intent on claiming their souls. Hours passed like eternities as they wandered the endless corridors, their sanity slipping away with each passing moment. Sarah's camera captured glimpses of shadowy figures lurking in the corners, their eyes glowing with malevolent intent. Just as hope began to fade, they stumbled upon a hidden staircase leading down into the depths of the earth. With nothing left to lose, they descended into the abyss, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and exhilaration. What awaited them below was beyond their wildest nightmares, a sprawling labyrinth of tunnels lined with ancient symbols and grotesque statues. The air was thick with the stench of decay, and the walls seemed to pulse with a sinister energy that sent shivers down their spines. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, they pressed on, their footsteps echoing through the darkness like a death knell. But the deeper they delved, the more they realized the true horror of their situation. The house was alive, feeding off their fear and despair like a ravenous beast. With every twist and turn, they found themselves drawn deeper into the heart of darkness, their minds unraveling with each passing moment. Shadows danced at the edge of their vision, whispering secrets too terrible to comprehend. As they reached the heart of the labyrinth, they came face to face with the source of the house's power, a monstrous entity born from the depths of hell itself. Its eyes burned with an unholy fire 
and its twisted form loomed over them like a god of nightmares. In a final act of defiance, they confronted the creature, their spirits bolstered by a newfound sense of courage. With a deafening roar, they unleashed their fury upon the beast, their screams echoing through the darkness as they battled for their very souls. But in the end, it was not enough. The house claimed them as its own, their screams fading into the void as they were consumed by the darkness. And as the sun rose on a new day, the house stood silent once more, its secrets buried deep within its walls for eternity.